Hi everyone. Um, as of the recording of this video, we have reached 100 subscribers, and that's all thanks to you guys. Um, thank you all for subscribing and liking the videos on this channel. I greatly appreciate it. I'm so happy uh, we made it to 100 subscribers. Um, for me, that's a very big milestone because I've always considered this to be a um, basically, you know, a s small channel, you know, I mean, it is, it, I, you know, still kind of is, it's still a small channel, but you know what, 100 subscribers to me, that's huge. That is very huge. And I just want to say thank you to you guys. And as a thank you, I like to kind of just go over the journey we had so far on this channel. And, um, you know, hopefully the and we'll see what kind of journey we'll have in the next maybe 100 subscribers subscribers if we ever get there. But, you know, thank you so much for subscribing. I, I greatly appreciate that. Um, this here is a video of Floricita back in the early days uh, fighting alongside Narmalith to uh, defeat uh, um, Mordorith in the Lotro Epic Quest uh, Story Volume 1. Uh, this was made, oh boy, uh, I just looked at this too, I think maybe over 10 years ago, maybe. Um, and uh, let's see here. And I did this to actually to rock music. I would make uh, um, little parody, back then I would make little parody videos of um, uh of these, you know, I would like make little parody Lotro videos with rock music playing in the background, and I would try to get a theme for for the video. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Let's unmute it. I don't have it listed. Narmalith is hell on wheels. I think that's Nickelback. I think that was Nickelback, but near the end. Uh, let me see here. I got, let me see. Let's get to the end here. Is this King Nothing by Metallica? Yep. Yeah, that was totally by coincidence that uh, that off to never, never land just happened right when she stabs Mordorith right in the gut, you know. Um, yeah, so back then I was doing music videos, basically. Um, let's go back. Let's go back one. Where are we at? All right. So, yeah, so I, I was doing basically mute, low tro music videos, whatever. Back in the day, like I said, I started about 2010, right? 
and let's go back here and i was basically using this as just like my own personal you know sub, uh youtube channel slash account type of thing um and then like a year after i started this account i started experimenting with music videos and uh, uh editing and whatnot my first videos i uploaded was actually from a concert uh these are the band called this is a band called showbread showbread uh back in the day uh they're like an indie christian rock band um and i was into them back in the day and this was actually at a concert when they were visiting our area and uh thought i'd upload it i made a little fan made video here about it and you know it's pretty much re religion and politics so if you're into if you're <laughs> if you're easily triggered by religion and politics don't watch these videos i made an easter video as well um and then a little uh this little advertisement for the show bread uh they're one of their later albums um this is not my video this was a video up there online i just copied it put it on my channel um yeah but you know just to basically you know help promote the band a little bit you know um and then after that i started playing lotro and that's where the music video started coming in you know i would do basically the um instances from the epic quest storyline and put rock music to them and i try to do a theme with each one there's this one this this one's hilarious floricita fights for love so this takes place in foraquel and there's a little instance in there where someone there's a old-fashioned ritual that this guy tries to uh get this one woman to marry him and and uh it's it's kind of weird actually when you watch it but um i won't give a spoiler but you know anyway but i put this to the music of celine dion from the movie titanic and um <laughs> it's kind of kind of funny and you just got you have to watch the whole thing to kind of to get it uh this one um the video is not mine uh this was made from a kinmate uh whose uh, name is Brygard, and i do have him listed as uh, one of my subscribers no as i subscribe to his channel um and um uh, he, the, you know, this is basically a raid Swifty and Hamill was doing, and I asked him if I could use this video to put music behind it and all that. He said yes. He agreed to that. Um, and then there's some more uh, music videos here. Uh, let's see, Jagger Jack. This one um, uh, uses the Lotro kind of music system, where Floricita plays Jumping Jack Flash after fighting Jagger Jack. Uh, let's see, Mordress Fall, I have Angmar Spring in the Trap, The Grand Stair with Benny Hill theme music, anytime you can put Benny Hill theme music into a raid, that's hilarious. So, okay, Fight with Thrang with Benny Hill, uh, let's see, and then more, ep more st Epic Quest storylines, let me see here, Weapons of the Enemy, Half Truce, Path of Ariel, Doom of the North. Message about trees. Uh, yeah, this was Wildermore, I guess. And, uh, you know, you fight orcs that were cutting down the trees in, Will in uh, the Fangorn Forest. You know, uh, let's see. Dungeons of Dolgodor, that's a good one. Okay, Stone of Winograde. This this is one of my f um, uh, favorites. This is um, this instance this is when uh what you call it the uh oh the horses the rohan horses the um i want to call them warrior horses but that's not what they're called i forgot what they're called the <laughs> but you know what i'm talking about if you play the game in rohan you get a new type of horse where you go and do battle with the horse and all that stuff um and so this one so the title's called The Stone of Wendigray Version 2 with cool racing music. I did this to uh, Motley Crue's Kickstart My Heart. Here, let's watch that for a little bit. I have business in Snowborn, but first I would see Wirgendar's stone. Will I next fall for the crone's curse?
And let's jump ahead. Let's get to the exciting parts here. Because we get on we get on the horses and ride. Let's see. Uh oh. A little early. There we go. We are under attack. Mount up and slay them all. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, as you can see, I did not know what I was doing here. <laughs> this was my first time uh, using the war, the war horse. And, you know, it's basically like jousting. And, and with the champ, a lot of the, the moves here are, are you have to get in close to get them. And when, when these guys are running around like that, it's very hard to do that. I, I mean, there's not a whole, there's the horn. You, you could do, which I, I think I've learned since then, once you get close, stun them with the horn first and then hit them with your, uh, with your swings. But I did not know that at the time of this video. But yeah, uh, cool racing music. You betcha. Let's go back here real quick. All right. Let me see. So that was the Stone of Winograde. This one had a lot of views. And I don't know, any I guess anything with Benny Hill theme song. Dueling banjos and Benny Hill theme songs get get some good views. Basically, this is Floresita, you know, going around with some goats, killing things, you know. Okay, this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Crazy Train Locomotion Lotro Style. Basically, when I first did this instance, this one, um, I just read somewhere that, oh, all you have to do is run up to the door and the ogre will run through the door and open it for you. Well, I tried that and I just end up aggroing everybody and and uh, I died, <laughs> basically, is what happened. And so um, uh, I went back here at level 85. And I and came back and ran around everybody, aggroed everyone, and did a big old shink shink, killed them all, and all that. It was it was pretty cool. I think I started off with, uh, oh, that song that goes, everybody doing a brand new dance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion, you know. And then there's uh, then I ended it at the second part with uh, Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. It was pretty good. And then we have the final council. One Hope Remains, the ending of uh, the Epic Quest storyline, I believe. Yeah, we were watching the, watching this one at the beginning of the video, One Hope Remains Part 2. And then uh, this was, we had a little Ken Knight PvP type of thing on a Saturday. Uh, that was pretty fun. And this is uh, the Goldilocks and the Three Bears house in Rohan. Uh, let's see. And then, oh, the Hit Hitler memes. We got to talk about the Hitler memes. So this was eight years ago. So back then, 
there the these these means were very popular uh this was based on the movie downfall which is basically the downfall of the nazis during world war ii this scene was when the uh hitler and his uh top lieutenants were in the bunker in berlin because the allies and the russians were there you know basically you know uh kicking their butt basically is what they were doing and um um and so basically Hitler's freaking out like at and it's funny at the beginning of the the video I mean it's clear that Hitler did not have it in his head that he was being defeated they were in the bunker and all that and he was saying don't worry uh what was that? I forgot the guy's name in this video. But uh, Steiner, yeah. Don't worry. Steiner will uh, come in with his forces. And and the generals are like, uh, no, Steiner's been defeated. And then so then Hitler just loses it and just yells at everybody. He even made a, a remark in there saying that, uh, you know, he should kill all his generals just like Stalin did and all that. And he just freaks out. Well, during this, during eight years ago, um, you know, and... You know, if you don't know German, because this movie was in German, you know, we, we had to just had to rely on subtitles to understand what they were talking about. And so the thing was back then was to take the scene and put subtitles and have Hitler rage against something totally different, something that's going on in pop culture at the time. Like, for example, Hitler rages that the... Um, Patriots lost the Super Bowl or something like that, right? And he goes on and and says something, all this stuff about the Super Bowl and how they shouldn't lost. They had an undefeated season, but, but they lost anyway. How could they lose and all this? You know, just something totally ridiculous, right? So I joined in, and, and I made one, Don't Be Late to a Lotro Raid. Um, <laughs> and this, this was... I. The, the I, I got this idea and this I totally blew this out of proportion right so um the I got this idea because I um I was in a kin, kin event it was it was a raid and we were waiting for everyone to come up and our kin leader said oh so and so hasn't shown up yet and and he signed on as as accepting in the calendar and <laughs> And then someone, someone else in chat said, "Oh, oh, so and so. Since when did you become a raid Nazi?" And I'm like, "Oh, ding, ding, ding. Okay, I have an idea for a video." But again, this is totally blown out of proportion. You know, it's you know, it's it's it was it's hilarious. Um, there's a reference to Mountain Dew in here. You know, look at that video, too. We'll talk about that video in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, and um, it's just, you know, it's, it's just poking fun, you know, basically at the kin. And if you are looking at a, for a kin that uh, looks, looks uh, that does weekly raids, sign, go to www.swifty.com. Ah, I messed it up there. www.swiftyandhamo.com. That's S W I F T Y A N D H A M M O dot com, and uh, fill out an application. They're on the Arkenstone server. They they're a casual kinship, but they do weekly raids. Um, you know, like tier one group raids. You know, if you want to basically learn how to raid just you know just the basics or if you need tips in the game or whatnot they're a great group of people and and willing to help you out so go ahead and, and uh join up with them um okay and tell them florecita sent you um okay <laughs> but uh yeah um so sign up as tentative that's the main point of that video if you're not sure you're going to be there sign up as tentative don't piss off hitler okay and then i also <laughs> made uh, an official Swifty and Hamo theme song. See if you need if you need the website, it's Swifty and Hamo, all one word, dot com, right there. And uh, you know, I was just goofing around and whatnot. I think I did that to uh, Faith No More's "We Care a Lot" uh, song, and I just made up my own lyrics to that. 
Uh, yes. And then this one, Hitler Rages Against Lotro Update 15. You don't release it unfinished. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's self-explanatory there. Um, I won't go into too much there. This one, my two cents on the pre, uh, on the cosmetic weapons when that first came out. Um, okay. Doseki's Mountain Dew Lotro parody commercial. So, so basically my kin leader, he was nice enough to provide a voiceover to this. Um, and, and of course, instead of Doseki's, we had Mountain Dew there. And uh, he, he was so nice to do this. Here, let's, let's watch it. It's only 27 seconds. NASA uses his gaming computer to launch secret missions. Lotro Wiki looks to him for answers. He's told his teammate, don't worry, it's only a Balrog. True story. He is the second most interesting man in the world. When I play Lotro, I like to drink Mountain Dew. Play hard, my friends. There you go. That's our Ken leader uh, from back in the day. Uh, yeah. And let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we did have some kin, kinship changes through through you know throughout the years. I mean, this was seven years ago, you know. But yeah, uh, still Swifty and Hamill still around. We would love to have you if you'd like to join us. Uh, let's see, The Adventures of Bingo Boffin. I I this was my attempt of creating a character and trying to do the Bingo Boffin, but to be honest, I just lost interest and uh, I just never picked it up. Again, um, maybe sometime, you know, I think, you know, Bingo Boffin is best to do basically on a high level, I think, in my opinion, because there's gaps in that. You can't just, you know, do one, you can't just be a level one character and just go, go right into the Bingo Boffin storyline because there's gaps between each chapters and you have to go out and level up and all that stuff. Um, if you just want to do all the Bingo Boffin episodes, just do it at high level and, you know, go through them. I think if you're if you're a hundred, I think that's safe to get through all the Bingo Boff and stuff, um, which is basically its own separate quest line. And you could get and through it, you could get cosmetics and whatnot as rewards. Uh, let's see. And then here's where the gap is. So seven years ago, two years ago. So there's a five year gap there. So basically, all this time I was playing like basically on a non gaming laptop computer with basically onboard graphics um and um but however the graphics i had they did cer certify it to lotro rise of isengard which was basically the main inst main uh expansion that was out when i joined um but then just as the years kept going uh, especially with uh, when riders of rohan came out you know, my computer was pretty much lagging and suff suffering when when I was trying to record videos and stuff. And like the it's like the graphics processor could not keep up with it. So I basically stopped making videos at that point until I got a new computer, a new gaming computer. And that story goes, I'm going to go over to channels here. So the reason that story goes is because. Yeah, OK, so. Uh, my friend Church over at Act of Funniness. Uh, I was on business travel and I actually met Church on uh, uh, at work. Basically, um, I was traveling for training, and we got to talking and we talked about gaming. I talked to him about Lotro, and uh, he talked to me about his YouTube channel. And I, you know, I I said, you know, I was kind of thinking about kind of doing streaming and whatnot, and and but I, I you know I need a better computer to do that so he gave me advice on what to get what to look for in a graphics card and all that stuff and he get, he gave me some tips and you know and because of him um I got a new computer um I you know I and I felt confident on the computer I was getting and um I uh just started streaming um and I'll, I'll talk about these channels later if I remember. Well, I'll do it do it now. So let's let's talk about the feature channels right now. So Gen X Gamer, I I like him. Uh, 
you know, I uh, I like watching his videos. He he, I seem I liked I seem to re I relate to him, you know, uh, you know, because you know he's a Gen Xer. I'm a Gen Xer as well, and uh, I just like his style. He's pretty smooth and laid back, and uh, you know he um, does like the full um, basically play. Well, he when he does a video, he just does the whole thing. Uh, pretty much unedited to show us um, the gameplay, and I like that. I personally like that. You know, I do pretty much the same thing. There are times where I've I've edited bits and pieces if if <laughs> I, it just gets repetitive and whatnot. But but uh, you know, um, I like his game. He does Lotro. He does Valheim. He does Medieval Dynasty. Um, I have. Not done Valheim or Medieval Dynasty, but I'm glad to see that through his channels and kind of learn about different games. Uh, Jedi Warlock, he does great how-to videos. He does how-to videos on Lotro, on uh, World of Warcraft, and um, uh, we did a collab recently. And um, you know, I like his. You know, he he has a good channel on there. And Dang, And Dang, and Pine Leaf. Um, both, I, I was listening to these back when I first started Lotro, when they were on the Lotro players, uh, was it the Lotro players news? It was like Lotro, Lotro players news. That's what it is though. So, and that podcast is still going on today. Lotro player news, uh, pine leaf needles, I believe is still there. And dang, I don't think he's there anymore, but and dang, he does uh streaming. And back in the day, he, he did uh, Lotro streams. I think he's doing other things now, but, uh, back in, back in the day when I started playing Lotro, I would watch his streams and, uh, um, his videos and listen to him and Pine Leaf on Locho Player News. Wrestling Bios. Wrestling Bios is my favorite non-gaming YouTube channel. Uh, just because I like pro wrestling. Uh, I like watching pro wrestling. I was a big pro wrestling fan back when there was WWF and WCW back in the day when they had the Monday Night Wars. And this guy, uh, he is currently has a series on those Monday Night Wars and between WWF and WCW. And he compares both shows at the same time, uh, which is cool. I like it. And, and, and it is great because... Because back then I did not have cable to actually watch those live. I had to wait until like Saturday or or the weekend when the basically the shows uh, there's they both had replay shows like on regular television, which which basically went over what happened on Monday Night Raw. Raw and WCW Nitro, and base and they would have like some lower tier matchups matches on those shows. But yeah, but so wrestling bios, it's great. Just re reliving the war, just like the tit the show's uh, title says. And then you know I have a whole bunch of subscriptions. Basically, if I see a channel I like, I subscribe to it. Um, you know, if people subscribe to me and, and if they're on public, um, I would check their channel out. And if it's, uh, content that I like, I would subscribe to them as well. And, you know, uh, let me see how many subscriptions do 134. Not bad. It's not, it's not, not too much. I don't think so anyway. All right. So let's go back to the videos here. So now, so when I started streaming, okay. Um, I would, I would actually stream, I was actually stream live. And, and so back in the day I start, and I started when Minus Morgul came out, which was 2000, October of 2019 ish. And so I had, I would stream Minus Morgul and some of these videos would be like two and a half hours. Uh, let me see. I thought I saw one that was like three or four or something like that. I don't see it right off hand. And then, yeah, three hours right there. Uh, yeah, two hours there. Uh, this is the Little Acre. Um, Act of Funniness did this on their channel. And I thought it was so cute and easy point and click that I thought I'd try it. 
Uh, let's see. And then, then more streaming, minus tier, minus tier, yes. And then, where did I go from here? Oh, Miss of Wilderland. Okay. Uh, I'll talk about Miss the Wilderland in a little bit. Um, and then I was also playing Assassin's Creed. I just started Assassin's Creed. I start, started the first two, actually, uh, because, I, you know, I heard about it, never played it. And I think around this, no, years ago they had a movie, be, even before this time. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I want to play the game, and, and I like the game so, you know, and I like the game. So much, and I think I played. I think I played through it first before I started streaming it. But yeah, and then I stopped stream. Why? Okay, so I think I around this time when I was doing Wilderland, um, I noticed that as I was streaming, I would lag and hitch, and I had real issues in Wilderland uh, for some reason. Um, and so I started just going to recording. So we'll go back down here. Go back down here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Going back in time. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So here's the gap here. Yeah, Wilderland. Floresita and Miss Wilderland right here. So, yeah. So two, it jumps from two to seven on my recorded videos. Um, yeah, I just had, had issues with streaming, and so I thought, you know what, I, I'm just going to record and post them on, on, online, so I was still doing, like, two-hour videos-ish around this time, um, I was basically, yeah, see, like this one, uh, two, two hours, 43 minutes, um, three hours, 50 minutes here for Assassin's Creed 2, um, I like that game, though, I, you know, I, and, and I'm, I'm debating whether I should do like the others. I mean, there's so much to do. I might, I might do. Uh, what's the one with the Viking? Uh, Valheim? Was it Val? No, uh, Valhalla. That's it. Yes, Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I might do that one. That one's on sale now. I might just do that. Uh, this one, Kevin plays Perry Mason in the case of the Mandarian murder. This is like going back to memory lane. This, uh, I had this game as a kid. And, uh, you know, little little text game with some little pictures up there. And uh, um, uh, basically just going down memory lane and uh, um, uh, playing, playing Perry Mason. You know, this was like the first first game we I had on a, on a computer. And then this was like my first role playing game uh, that I that I play the quest for the quest for glory series from sierra online so this is quest for glory one right here and I, I might do the others i don't know uh let's see then also i got uh arkham asylum which was very good i like that um let's see what else so i was playing arkham asylum then i back to lotro kessick the stout axe runekeeper and then halloween my first halloween came around and again Act of Funniness did a video series on Layers of Fear. And I said, you know what? I would like to do this for my channel. They said, oh, this would be very good for your channel. You should do it. So I did it. And it freaked me out, man. It's a very trippy game. Uh, you know, it's a good Halloween game, you know. Uh, you know, nice old walking simulator going through areas of basically. It's it's like going through a haunted house, basically, as you're as you're doing doing the elements of the game it's pretty pretty fun uh let's see and then I, yep so this run i was doing kestic the stout axe runekeeper and i was playing with act of funniness in this video here we were playing among us uh war of the three peaks phasmophobia with act of funniness uh, okay fortnite with act of funniness act of funniness uh let's see Let's make Kevin cry and headworms. Yes. Game. Oh, man. Scary game. Philip. Philip. You frustrated me, Philip. I don't like you, Philip. You kept killing me, Philip. That's an inside joke. I have uh, like two headworms games, and I rage quitted <laughs> in the second one, in the second uh, uh, video of mine, which was just last Halloween. 
Uh, let's see, Three Peaks, uh, Wildwood, went through Wildwood, so uh, lots of Lotro here. Uh, okay, getting the first legendary item, I believe that's simply Ming right there. Uh, let's see, yeah, we were going to start, yeah, because this one I was starting off with simply Ming. And we were going to have him do the Epic Quest storyline. And then we we have Blood of Azog playing as a doing chicken quests, some more Phasmophobia, and Lotro Blair Witch. The next Halloween I did Blair Witch, and that was fun too. I liked that game too. Um, uh, it was just fun. Uh, walking simulator in the woods. You uh, find that uh, one Blair Witch house. Um, you see what? Did, let me see. To explain yeah Steve's house right here so I was talking with somebody uh, at work and he was telling about his experience about living in the woods and about how about how was it his house I believe it was his house and he thinks it was haunted and all this stuff and all that so I called this Blair wish the final chapter Steve's house uh, let's see and then here's the brawler and then here's the more more recent videos um you know gunda bad the legendary item stuff and and uh let's see so here's all the latest videos here now l lately i try to keep the videos about an hour ish or under um just because you know go coming from it from uh, what I like to see in a video, I could handle an hour long video, like a gameplay video, but if it's like two or three hours, there's no way I could watch that. So, so for others, I, I would, um, try and just keep it around an hour. And then this Halloween, I did a, here's that second headworms video. I rage quitted that one. So, so hard. Cause I kept dying over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, got. I don't have nice things to say about Philip the monster in there. Anyway, uh, so I did Doom, Headworms, Friday the Thirteenth for Halloween, um, and it was I did yeah um, oh Stubbs the Zombie right here. That <laughs> that's kind of like a funny funny little uh uh game right there. I might I might revisit that one. I might do that as a series, maybe. It's just my kind of sense of humor. And then, of course, we're doing Yondershire and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, Yondershire comes out Thursdays. Jedi Fallen Order comes out Tuesdays. And that's where we're at right now. So, um, again, um, this. So, basically, that's the history of the channel, basically. All. 12 years of it all that's all 12 years of the channel um you know and again thank you guys so much um for for the 100 subscribers i mean i i to me that's a awesome milestone to reach um i greatly appreciate it um you know i don't envision this channel to be super popular or anything like that i basically doing this as you know my own personal video diary but i do try to make it ent entertaining for whoever is watching so thank you all um i greatly appreciate it i greatly appreciate the subs and let's see what the journey is like for the next 100 subscribers all right thank you very much and take care